my God, I did it. Hey everyone, I'm Jeep Mama, and that was the Broken Arrow Trail in Sedona, Arizona. As you can tell, I had some reservations about going up that obstacle. That was the fall of 2019, the first months of wheeling my Nexen Rodian MTX tires. The company gave us a set of 35 inch Rodian MTX tires for review. I put over 10,000 miles on those tires in about 35 days, wheeling on road and off road. Slow, slow, slow. Fast forward slow, slow. six months later on the Rubicon Trail and my confidence in my Jeep grew Rubicon. tenfold because of my absolute trust in my Nexen Rodian MTX tires. Oh, that was easy. Oh, I'm a bad ass mamba jamba. Not really. Not really. Your mom just kicked ass. During those first 10,000 miles, I put them through the test. I pushed those tires to their limits in every way, shape and form sharp rock and that razor sharp lava rock they held up spectacularly lava rock can destroy an inferior sidewall but those rhodian mtx tires did spectacular with all those terrains ran those tires did amazing on everything snow and ice sand slick rock The sidewalls really hook and hold, crawling those rocks. The forward bite was amazing, and boy, do they grip that slick rock. I counted on the Nexen Rodian MTX tires to get me through the Rubicon Trail, and they did with flying colors. Awesome tires, and this is Nexen's first attempt at an off-road tire, and they hit the bullseye. A lot of people don't actually know the full history of Nexen tire. So the factory itself is over 70 years old in Korea. So back then it was just ran as a factory, um, more domestic for Korea. Um, and then, you know, made a lot of tires for other big brands like Michelin, and, you know. So they, they utilized companies like us a long time ago. Um, so they sold the company and the new owners, they wanted to create a brand, so came up with Nexen, which means next generation. But even as a next generation, the company struggled because the, the traditional way of that, the company was just pumping out tires. So I would say the last 10 years, the company has been like progressing, putting new technology. Probably the last five years is when we really did a lot of research, put into a lot of work, a lot of new high-tech systems. When it came down to creating a, 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 our Rodian MTX was, before we go through everything, I mean, obviously we came up with so many different designs. Um, we utilized guys like uh, John Sibol, who, who he's, a, he's a car designer. <clears throat> um, and he used to color like comic book, DC comic books and stuff like that. So I reached out to him and said, hey, you know what, can you design a tire for us? And he's like, I never did that before. And we said, you know what, that's what we want. We don't want the traditional. So he came up with a lot of design, but we change, you know, a little bit here and there, which becomes like many other tires, but we focus on some other purpose. So we take that and then we put it into our computer and basically our R&D would do all different type of simulation. So based on different terrain, based on different tread blocks, the depth of the side, everything, they, they'll go through multiple. I'm not talking about one or twice, I'm talking about multiple times. And then you create different sidewall, structure, compound, and then we reached out to Don and said, let's go out and test. So that's how we became, we got what we have. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> How do we choose the right one? Sometimes do we focus on marketing? Do we focus on just pure performance? Do we focus on, let's just say, go with much softer sidewall using less rubber, make it cheaper? Or do we make sure that, you know, we want to make sure that it's functional, but it's the right market, you know, tire. So one thing that we did want to focus was we wanted to make the F load, make sure that we're all, all of our tire is able to handle 80 PSI. Some companies will say, you know what, that's too extreme. But for us, we want to make sure we stand out. So we make sure that every single size is able to handle 80 PSI. Now, if you think about that, you would think that it's too stiff. In America, the top three vehicles sold are Dodge, Chevy, and Ford. And then if you look at top 20, that's where you see the Jeep Wrangler, Grand Cherokee, Tacoma, and all those vehicles. 
So knowing that, yes, it is important for this tire to perform on the mountain, desert, whatever we have to put it, but we, we all know 80, what, 90% of those vehicles out there will never hit the dirt. Knowing that our tire at 14 PSI having same amount of footprint as other brands at 10, you know, or even single digit. So in some ways, if you're going that low, you are required to have a bead lock, right? Whereas 14, you're at the borderline of needing it, not needing it kind of way. So in some ways to the consumers, it purchasing our tire will be cheaper because you're not, you're not required to have. For us, I think it was a combination of knowing that we wanted to be able to handle 80 PSI, so we knew that structure has to handle that. But at the same time, we want that flex, so we created a sidewall, making sure at certain belt angle, everything else to make sure that we're able to flex, but without losing the form. So that was purposely done, but we were surprised how well it performed. There you go, a thumbs up on those Nexon tires. Unfortunately, I don't run the Nexons anymore. My steering knuckle went bad and I didn't realize it, and I wasn't paying attention to the wear on my tires. Big mistake. Always, always watch the wear in your tires. So anyway, two of my Nexons, the wear got really, really bad. It was unsafe to use. And at the time, I was living in a remote area of Colorado, and I was very limited on my tire selection. I had to go with another tire. It was a good thing because I learned I knew the Nexons were good, but I didn't realize how good they were until I took my Jeep on Hole in the Rock, and that slick rock really, really needed those Rodian MTX. That grip on those tires is phenomenal. And unfortunately, with the tires I have now, the grip was not as good. So my Jeep goals are to get my Nexons back. Those Nexon Rodian MTX tires, I miss them so much. I want that confidence back that I had when I was on the Rubicon Trail. Those Rodian MTX tires give me a confidence knowing that my Jeep can perform on the trail like I know it can with the right tires. And the Rodian MTX tires do just that.